Um, and um, Professor Dottini is the Dean of the Nelson R. Mandela School of Law at the University of Fort Hare in South Africa, where it is morning. Um, and he will be speaking on lawyering in the age of digitalization. Over to you. Uh, thank you very much for that uh, introduction. Uh, good afternoon again, colleagues. Uh, um, uh, I, I just want to, uh, to, to, to just contextualize this. Um, I've been involved in a number of activities with lawyers, trying to understand how they are capturing, you know, um, uh, technologies in, 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 in the business of uh, what I refer to today as, as lawyering. And uh, what do these technologies mean to them? Um, uh, 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 just to, 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 to ensure that the kind of responses, you know, to, um, uh, to the developments in technology speak to their, to their uh, individual needs. If you may go to the, to the next slide, you'll see the, um, that I refer to a book by Rita McGrath. It's, uh, it's, it's mostly used in, 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 in business studies that is seeing around corners. And this is particularly relevant to, to lawyers because they are sometimes very protective about, about their business. I remember in South Africa, uh, you know, uh, given the events of March uh, uh, of, of 2020, COVID-19, you know, courts, was, uh, courts were, were closed literally in, 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 in South Africa. Uh, because uh, we were tentative as to how how lawyers are going to be approaching courts, uh, given that they distance themselves from from developments in technology. So, so this notion of singer around corners has to do with what end groove, which is to go outside the building, look at external factors, and um, examine how those external factors have relevance to to your business. Later, I will refer to, to uh, Richard Saskind, who talked about, you know, um, uh, lawyers being, you know, in the habit of reinventing the wheel, that is, um, in, in their approach to, 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 to uh, commence regulations. Uh, the next slide, please. Uh, that, that slide will be that just the layout of my presentation introduction. I'll talk to resilience and anti-fragility law, the intersection between law, mach uh, law and machines or robots, and look at the three models, you know, um, as, 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 as uh, championed by Halevi in relation to how we, we as lawyers could use technologies to inform some of the theories to, 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 to regulation, and then I'll conclude. Um, the next slide will, will, will is just a summary of the introduction. Basically there, what I did was to say, okay, look, we understand that the study is going to focus on lawyers, but let's let's have a look at how how technologies have had uh, uh, um, uh, have, have shaped uh, uh, academia, right? Uh, so that we we channel the discussion properly to to the understanding of law. I think uh, one of the, I won't, I'm not going to sit uh, on this. I'll just uh, talk to to one or two aspects of it. Um, the, the the movement you know from from uh, a profession to 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 skill or credentials to skill um which is to develop frameworks that speak to 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 a particular skill that is needed in in uh, in, 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 in 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 society and this is a, a, a something that has to do with developments in technology. For example, uh, in my class uh, on, on, uh, on cyber law, I make mention to, of the fact that why must students sit in class, you know, to learn about how to uh, uh, produce a chair, you know, when I can just develop a, a six week training you know, to tell students specifically about that, um, uh, or just uh, direct students to um, a, a YouTube channel where all the steps are enunciated there. So, so, so this move, so, so, so that movement had, had to propel us to to design measures to ensure that you know we we are why we are aware of the of the developments in technologies, the availability of technologies, you know, to to, to society. Uh, the next slide is where I talk about. The, this notion of resilience, this notion of, of resilience, which speaks um, uh, uh, in part to what I, 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 I mentioned earlier relating to courts not capturing, 
you know, as as uh, 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 as one would expect them, you know, uh, 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 technologies to inform, you know, um, their business. As, as, as a result, they were found wanting um, uh, uh, um, in terms of uh, in terms of uh, adopting these technologies. And again, um, we're talking about you know third industrial revolution technologies. Just uh, you use uh, Teams or Zoom. You know, um, uh, you know, lawyers felt that that will uh, temper with the uh, cross-examination, for example, or cross-examination of a witness or how evidence is adduced like, in, in, in court. So, 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 so um, uh, uh, just to introduce this study of resilience and anti-fragility, I make mention of uh, uh, Azitrin, who, who introduced the, 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 the notion of hidden costs of automated thinking. He said, look, Perhaps uh, given the technologies, you know, the developments in, in, in recent technologies, IoT, um, artificial intelligence, uh, virtual reality, and, 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 and others, we, we perhaps have to look at answers first before we, we explain, you know, we take steps to, to, to explain, you know, uh, the answers. Uh, because the, the answers are now, right, uh, are, are now, you know, they are no longer in the future. You know, technologies bring the answers to us, you know, um, and then we perhaps have to just uh, implement first and then find, you know, uh, explanation as to how we, you know, um, uh, how those answers come about. But but this has to do with with us we uh, as lawyers are uh, discovering the workings of the technology elsewhere i talk about button pushers um uh, uh, just people who, 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 who don't understand how technology works and therefore establish a regulatory fr frameworks that are not in keeping with the developments in technologies and, and as, a, as a result the, the regulations always um are, 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 are you know, try to catch up with with technology developments, but but what we have to do um, uh, in, in in all that endeavor is to understand the 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 society we are currently in. Uh, I made mention of the you know technology bringing global prosperity prosperity. Yes, and then I, I talk about some of the skepticism, and one of the one of that is uh, uh, is advanced by David Edgerton. Uh, who talks about the shock of the old? So, 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 what we need to do, we need to move together in 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 in, in this direction of embracing technologies and also understand, you know, um, uh, uh, the workings, as Askind is saying, the workings and dynamics of of technology, so that the technology is is a way of democratizing society or our individual domains as as as, as lawyers, as uh, not as a way of disempowering you know, um, uh, uh, the manner in which in which we work. Um, others, for example, in, in this notion of uh, uh, using technology to, dispair, to disempower society, uh, talk about algorithms of, uh, of operation, uh, where you see uh, the, the, the fourth industrial revolution is being construed as the revolution of winners uh, and losers. Um, uh, uh, but, but what does this mean for a regulatory standpoint? Uh, do we mean by uh, lawyering in the digital in the, in the age of digitalization? Do we mean that we have to infuse machines in the whole, you know, uh, legal value chain, or do we mean that do we mean the replacement of of of, of a lawyer with machines or robots? In the next slide, I, I say, look, um, I, I prefer the first one. You know, we have to adopt technology. We, we have to embrace technologies um, uh, 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 in a manner that, you know, improves our, 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 our value creation, which is to, 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 to uh, present a good case, you know, for, 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 for our clients. So this then brings us to the, to the intersection between law uh, uh, and machines or, or robots. I think uh, we, we are aware of uh, the three laws of robotics. Um, robot not to injure human, robot to obey, to obey orders by human. Uh, but but uh, the, the, what, we, what we see now is the emergence of a new law to say, look, uh, uh, besides the third law, which is the robot to maintain existence in line with uh, law one and two, uh, robots can have <laughs> the effect of uh, violating all these three laws, if of course we have to 
uh, uh, protect humanity. So, so, so we, you know, we need to do this measuring, you know, of, of the extent of this uh, deviation, you know, uh, what it means for us. How are we going to to regulate it? Um, uh, are, do, are we going to to look at who controls or who has ownership? Of the machine and try to to understand where how to 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 start the regulatory process, or we're going to look at what Halaby refers to as the regulatory gap, uh, which is you know start the starting point is to just say look I'll, I'll just put lawyers together you know they will be creative enough to bring about you know um, uh, 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 an instrument good instrument to to regulate technologies which goes back. To, to to this notion um, of 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 button pushing or of button pushers. So, but my view is that look, we need to locate, you know, um, uh, 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 technologies and look at how close, you know, um, uh, uh, they uh, 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 deal with our present and the future constellations. Because if we attach regulations um, to the developments of technologies. Uh, then you know the, the result will 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 be that uh, uh, we will come up with the, with the, with the, with better regulations. I'll make an example. <clears throat> so there, there's no lawyer that came that, that, that came up with codes, right, and passwords. Um, uh, uh, codes is a development that you know um, uh, 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 is a technology development. And of course, we have to, where to embrace it and find regulatory instruments that speak to the to the notion of codes. So the understanding of technologies and how they are likely to develop in the future is important in order to start a regulatory process that is um, that that speaks to these uh, uh, technology developments. And again, um, uh, 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 as as you may have seen in my previous slide, then the the the. the the, the, then what comes about is not a fourth industrial revolution technology framework, you know, or a technology regulatory framework that, you know, that speaks to winners and losers. We understand that any study of, 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 of revolutions will bring about winners and losers, but we need to extenuate or mitigate, you know, this uh, uh, um, uh, 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 winner and loser uh, 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 scenario. This is particularly true for, for my country where, you know, I'm, I'm sure you know this, this is public knowledge. Uh, I'm ashamed to say this, but I will say it. We are the, we are sit, sitting at number one in terms of uh, uh, the most unequal society in the world. So if you go to embrace technologies in a manner that, you know, speaks to this winner and loser, you know, a, a scenario. So, so, so the, the gap between, you know, the, 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 the winner and loser will be too extreme to such an extent that, you know, to the losers, you know, embracing technologies will, 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 uh, will, will seem nonsensical. Already, we are grappling with the, uh, 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 with a section of our society that says, look, what's the point to, to looking at uh, these nice technologies, they call them nice technologies, uh, uh, artificial intelligence, nice to have, when we have not, you know, dealt with you know, um, uh, the first, second, and the third industrial revolution technologies. Because a section of our society, a big section of our society, is still, you know, uh, using the first industrial revolution technologies. And uh, and uh, that technology is still not being understood, you know, by those by those section of, of, of society. So, 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 so here we're talking about uh, uh, bringing everyone on board so that there's no one uh, that is left behind. And then um, my my next slide, then is 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 uh, is uh, 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 what I refer to the three mo as, as, as the three models. Um, this one, um, uh, uh, just to create some context relating to the three models. Um, if, if for example, we we we're looking at a way of regulating these technologies or how. The regulations are going to be, you know, for 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 purposes of of studying uh, technology regulations. Then we need to 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 look at what is happening, 
uh, uh, currently. You, you know, lawyers talk about um, uh, uh, um, uh, technology. Some, someone uses a knife to injure someone, and therefore, you know, the, the notion about um, a finding uh, liability or responsibility is not is not is not is not an issue. But the challenge uh, accrues or arises in situations where uh, uh, the, these technologies have a memory of of, uh, of their own. They have a cognitive ability. They can differentiate between right and wrong or act in accordance with such a distinction. Then how are we as lawyers ready to, to start regulations? I, I'm, I'm saying the starting point um, is to understand these three uh, um, uh, are models, the matrix of derivative criminal liability. The situation here is, if, is as if we're talking about a child, right? Um, the the, the machine here doesn't have, that is, doesn't have uh, uh, cognition, doesn't have memory. And therefore, responsibility or establishing responsibility is, is not an issue. The second one, the natural probable consequence liability speaks to the, to the idea that, okay, there is uh, 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 a technology that that's being involved, and the technology has the cognitive uh, 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 ability, and it can think for 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 itself. But 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 there's there's a person involved, right? Then we need to 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 look at that that, that person. Um, uh, some talk about Picato uh, Roboto. You know, uh, we look at you know was the programmer involved? Was the was 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 there was there was there a manufacturer involved? You know, in 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 the in the in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the whole scheme. So 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 as to establish where harm could be could be attributed. The the third one speaks to where we are currently. You know, uh, uh, the technology is just operating on its own. It's independent um, uh, 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 of 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 the human person, right? So 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 are we talking about whether we're going to look at the reasonableness of the machine, you know, if we are talking about wrongfulness, to look at whether the, the machine acted as a reasonable person uh, would in, in faced in similar circumstances. Already, uh, um, colleagues will we, we know this. We're talking about um, uh, um, uh, machines that observes ethical standards. In other words, ethical machines, you know, and, and start and start to 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 study these machines to establish how regulators are going to respond in, in, in situations where a machine uh, is deviating from, from, from such a standard. In other words, um, if, if I'm about to be hit by a car and then there's someone who's running with a child, abdu abducting a child, uh, you know, uh, and the machine is in the middle, right? Uh, what do we expect a machine to, to respond in such situations? If the machine starts with me saving me, can we say that it deviated from the standard of the reasonable person as, as, as would be expected of a person? And, and again, you know, the, the, the location of this argument has to be proper because we're not talking necessarily about, 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 about uh, where the machines are persons whether machines could be persons, uh, you know, uh, looking at um, uh, uh, the, 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 the commencement and the end of, of, of legal personality. And then the, 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 the last slide, colleagues, is um, where I just look at, uh, uh, summarizes this, this whole thing to say, look, the, the idea here uh, is not to frustrate the notion of business of lawyering, right? Um, uh, 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 which is what uh, uh, lawyers have been, have, been, have, been, have been been refusing to do, is to, to ensure that we have an augmented lawyer. We have a, a, a lawyer who sees around corners, right? Um, uh, if, for example, the, the South African Law Society, as we call them, um, uh, wants to start a process of generating regulations, you know, for 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 to control, you know, the 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 digital sphere, right? Those regulations are bound to fail if the people that properly understand the workings of the technology and the did and the dynamics of the technologies are not involved at the conceptual stage of of those regulations. So 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 we need a, 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 an augmented lawyer. Who not only is a button pusher, sits in his or in his or her office just to push buttons and uh, think that they they understand how technologies evolve. 
So, so this augmented lawyer is a lawyer that will strengthen regulations. You know, um, it, that lawyer will be able to to understand, you know, the the the, the stages of regulations as 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 we picked up from from the three models uh, that I discussed in my in my last slides. And again, the the laws of robotics, you know, as they are changing, right, will have to be understood because because as we know, there is a, a, a retribution gap. Right, which has to be um, which has to be closed as far as possible. But the question is, are we ready? Are we really ready as lawyers to 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 capture to capture these technologies? I'll make an example. Um, a, a state of Kentucky in the U.S. was uh, was 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 uh, really um, uh, uh, annoyed at the fact that um, uh, it's not dealing with bail cases as efficiently as it would it would want it to be and then it introduced you know um uh, uh, technologies to just you know look at you know to fast track and uh, fast track and accelerate you know um uh, 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 you know the, the the issue of bails you know the looking at the efficiency and effectiveness in the issue in the issuing of bails but what the, the, the technology was responsive it was it was able to to look at the data, process it, and give a, 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 a decision. It was consistent. In other words, it was it was really objective. But the problem with with the, with the machine was that it did not segregate. It did not have what we call in 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 in, in lawyering a discretion. It did it, it, a discretion. Um, uh, you know, it could not establish in, in, instances where in a person shows remorse. Right. You know, is remorseful about but but everything that that is okay, and therefore you know, throughout you know, um, uh, so so that was a problem, right? Because the human side it, it was not existing in the in, in the machine. So 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 this stage of preparedness is to properly understand you know the limitations of the technology and the and the and the and the and the, and the extent to which. These technologies technologies can bring about what what I refer to as a as a as a as a as an as augmented lawyering. And again, it speaks to to the retribution gap, which we need to constantly fill, relating to 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 the intersection between uh, um, uh, lawyering and, um, and, and, and 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 us embracing embracing technologies. So so the last part uh, in my in my uh, of, of my slide. Um, is a is a code from a famous boxer, uh, Mike Tyson. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. Okay, again, um, again, uh, it was. Uh, I, 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 I see that I'm the I'm the I'm the only person who's old enough to remember that fight uh, after the famous Evander Holyfield fight. Uh, we know what happened there. So, 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 indeed, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. You know, I think uh, I'm not going to dwell much on COVID. We know what happened. I'm sure colleagues have talked about. So, 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 we, in order to understand, you know, the the business of IT regulations, we need to constantly be evolving. We need to constantly be seeking things that are tied to our external environments. We need to see around corners so that we don't get punched in the face, or at least the punch is not as extensive as it would be if if, if we had not uh, uh, planned. Uh, thank you very much, colleagues, and uh, thank you for affording me the opportunity to present to you this morning. Thank you very much.